Hello, I am sitting in the garden of Helen and Douglas House, founded in 1982 as a hospice for terminally ill children, which sounds very sad, and in many cases it is, but strangely, a place that is designed to help people through some of the saddest experiences that life has to offer happens to be a sanctuary, happens to be a beautiful garden with tweeting birds and brightly coloured toys. And we're here today because in the 32nd year of the life of this place, they've refurbished it and we're opening it again. For the Illingworth family, Helen House has provided constant support. When their twins, Ollie and Ben, were three and a half years old, they were diagnosed with San Filippo syndrome, resulting in a journey shared by many Helen and Douglas House families. Development of the boys was always slightly behind other children of a uh, similar age but we always made excuses for them. And being new parents, we didn't know any better either. But being your child and with hindsight, you could see there was something wrong. And it wasn't really until they started going to preschool and they weren't grasping the basic instructions from the group. If they were playing, they were flitting around, but when they were asked to sit and be calm, the boys would still be tearing around whilst the other children were sitting. So. It was kind of at that point you start thinking, well, maybe there is a little something, but there was never anything in our minds that would be like San Filippo or a life-shortening condition. To be honest with you, it took me a long, long time. Um, I was almost in denial. Helen House is such a fun and vibrant place. As I say, you're welcome with a big cheery hello and a great big smile and meeting the other families and sharing their experiences. Uh, puts you at ease. They're there to help you when you need them, but also give you some great memories in the care that they've given to your child and the memories you're sharing with other families, the care team. As I say, they've come like a second family to us and we've made some very, very good friends. Sadly, we lost Ben nearly two years ago in October 2012, just uh, about a month short of his, what would have been his 10th birthday. And I remember coming in to settling down before wanting to go to bed myself. And that was probably about 10 o'clock-ish. And I settled him down, said goodnight to him, told him I loved him as I always did. And that was the last time I saw him alive. Yeah, as I say, they were brilliant. Um, Mari also turned up shortly after that and they stayed with us and supported us after we were told there was nothing they could do with them. In our darkest hour, it still showed the level of care and attention they give to the families who, who rely on them. And um, yeah, it's just unfortunate we lost Ben far too early, but to put it in perspective, we had nearly 10 wonderful years with Ben, but sadly on the same day, another young child with MPS passed away, who was only one. So we had longer with Ben and we were able to cherish all the time we had with him and do some wonderful things and build some wonderful memories with him. And if I had to turn back the clock, would I change anything? No. Whilst Helen House supports children and teenagers, Douglas House provides the perfect haven for adults like Fleur Perry. Well, Douglas House is a really interesting uh, place to be, really. There's so many different people that come here from all across the country and it's a type of resource that you just wouldn't find anywhere else. It could only be in Oxford, really. Um, I've never heard of anywhere else like it, but it provides respite services to young adults. This offers a really interesting opportunity for people to learn new skills and make new friends when they're going through some really important changes in their lives. And I think it's really important. Some of the best times that have been here. Um, there have been karaoke nights, 
There have been huge, great girly shopping trips culminating in cream teas. Um, we've just had an absolute giggle over the years. I've been coming here for four years and I don't think any stay has been boring or the same or repetitive in any way. Uh, the staff have all got a great sense of humour and they're always up for a laugh. Although Douglas House is a medical facility of sorts, um, there are so many differences between this and a hospital environment. On a hospital ward, it's busy, the nurses are gone in seconds, you turn around and they, they're just not there anymore. Here, the staff have the time to provide that quality of care. They get things right over and over again and they have such a wide range of experience between them. Um, I've said before, actually, that between them they probably know literally everything if you put them all in a room together. The death of a child or having a brother or sister with a life-limiting illness affects the whole family. And at Helen and Douglas House, the Elephant Club means that brothers and sisters receive support too. Well, I've got a 13-year-old sister, Anita, and she was born with spina bifida in hydrocephalus, which is basically water on the brain. And in 2006, when she was about, I don't know, five years old, she started using Helen Douglas House. And I mean, it was the first time for me visiting the hospice and it was, I didn't know what to expect. And when I arrived, I, I was almost blown away at the service and the level of care um, Helen Douglas House takes to my sister. It's, I mean, she comes here and she enjoys coming here, which is a real bonus. I mean, you don't want to send all your sister away to somewhere she doesn't want to go. And it's, it's quite comforting knowing she's here, knowing she's in safe hands, receiving the best possible care around. Sam um, met a lot of friends through um, Helen Douglas House. He's got people the same age as him who are friends. Um, other fellow 17 year olds and 18 year olds that he's friends with um, and I've gained a lot of friends through Helen Douglas House I have to admit I probably talk more openly with the people at Helen Douglas House than I do to my friends at school Helen Douglas House is a massive family it's amazing This wonderful place has helped my family face something which has often been very wonderful and also unbearably painful. And in those very difficult moments, this place reaches out and somehow lifts everyone up. Our family and families like it. So I'm sitting on this red bench asking you to help keep it going because it's a wonderful thing. Thank you very much. <laughs>